3D sketching. Create 3D sketches to use as a path or guide curve for a sweep. In this tutorial, we'll introduce you to basics of 3D sketching. 3D sketching is commonly used to create paths and guide curves for sweep features, but also for SOLIDWORKS routing and weldments. In this example, we'll walk through the creation of this 3D sketch. Then we'll use this 3D sketch to create a sweep. To begin, we'll create a new part and click OK. Click on 3D Sketch, then click on the Line Tool. Select the part's origin. Move your cursor to the right. Notice how it snaps to the X direction. The length of this line doesn't matter since we'll dimension it later. Click again somewhere right about here. To double check this line to make sure we've drawn it in the right position, go to the Select Tool and click on the beginning end point of the line. It should be located at coordinates 0, 0, 0 and have a coincident relation. At this point, you may want to zoom out and position your sketch like this so that you'll have more room to draw the remaining sketch entities. Click on the Line Tool and next we'll draw these lines. Click on the end point where we left off. Move your cursor straight down a short distance and click. Move your cursor to the right a short distance, making sure you're along the X direction, and click. The next line I'd like to draw will look like this one. Before proceeding, I'd like to show a common problem that occurs when sketching lines. Hover your cursor over this endpoint, but do not click on it. Now move your cursor up and away from the endpoint. Notice it has changed to an arc. In order to pick up where we left off, deactivate and reactivate the line tool and click on this endpoint again. Next, I'd like to draw a line in the Z direction. Currently, our line is locked to being parallel to the XY plane. Hit the Tab key on your keyboard one time. Now we're parallel to the YZ plane. Position your cursor in the Z direction, somewhere right about here, and click. Now we'll move our cursor a bit and hit the Tab key two times to return to the XY plane and we'll draw the few remaining lines in the X, Y, and X direction. Now we'll add dimensions. This will be 135, 15, 15 again, 240, and then the same dimensions on the other side. Next, we'll add some fillets to round off the intersections. Select the fillet tool, key in 5, and then box select all intersections. This selects all 6, and click OK. Then hit the red X to close the fillet tool. Now we are done with 3D sketching. The remaining steps in this tutorial involve creating a sweep feature, an extrusion, a pattern, and a mirror. If you'd like to continue, begin by exiting our current 3D sketch. Next, we'll insert a 2D sketch onto the right plane. Draw a circle located on this endpoint and dimension the circle to be 5 millimeters in diameter. Exit the sketch and select Swept Boss Base. Since I left the circle sketch selected, it becomes the profile. Next, let's select the path and click OK. Next, we'll create some of the supports. We'll begin by selecting the front plane and then select Extrude. Go normal to the front plane and draw a circle right here and dimension it like you see here. Diameter of 4 and a distance of 11. You may also want to make sure the circle lines up horizontal with the origin. Exit the sketch and rotate to a trimetric view and extrude this sketch 
up to a surface and pick this surface and click OK. Next, we'll show temporary axes to help establish a direction for a linear pattern. Make sure Boss Extrude 1 is selected and select Linear Pattern. Select this temporary axis and key in a spacing of 22 and number of instances of 6 and click OK. Finally, we'll mirror our part. To begin, we can turn off the temporary axes. Since Linear Pattern is still selected, click once in an open space and then select Mirror. Select one of the circular end faces and then under Bodies to Mirror, select the half rack and click OK. Switch to an isometric view and we're finished. Thank you.